in 2014, we're now, or in decision 2014, we're now less than a week away from the general election. And we don't have to tell you there are a lot of important races on the line. Early voting, of course, already underway in West Virginia. It wraps up on Saturday. It continues through this week. There is no doubt a lot of heat is coming from some of these very, very close, tight races. One of those is the race for the third congressional district seat here in West Virginia. Virginia. Challenger and State Senator Evan Jenkins is taking on incumbent Democrat Nick Rahal. WSAZ Charleston's Dan Griffin joins us now. And Dan, this race is hot enough to bring a national political figure right here to town. Well, you better believe it, Amanda. House Speaker John Boehner came to support Evan Jenkins in his race to win that seat. Today, Jenkins focused on finding tough regulations when it comes to coal, and he didn't hold back on swipes at Nick Rahal either. Jenkins and Boehner toured River Training, a trading company rather, in Canova, a coal production facility. Both focused on how a Republican-controlled Congress could pass bills to essentially vaporize EPA strongholds on coal production that could hurt the coal industry. Both pointed to what they call President Obama's war on coal and Nick Rahal's voting history as reasons to choose Jenkins on the ballot. But Rahal is firing back, saying now isn't the time to fall for a bunch of talk that I have fought tooth and nail, that I've been successful in getting bills passed through the House of Representatives by reaching across party aisles, working with my Republicans uh, to get bills that uh, would seek to stop, stop the EPA. And uh, so we have to keep fighting for coal jobs. You cannot be pro-coal and vote against the RAINS Act like Nick Rahal has. You cannot be pro-coal and fund the EPA regulations that are devastating our coal fire power generation. Okay, so we wanted to know just how confident both campaigns are when it comes to internal polling numbers. We spoke with campaign workers on both sides. Both say the numbers are showing in their favor, and they are confident they'll see a win. But, Amanda, I think a lot of us are curious to see what all of this campaigning will mean come Election Day. So many juicy races. Looking forward to Tuesday. Definitely. So much. All right, Dan, thanks so much. Well, voters in West Virginia are also going to decide the fate of a proposed constitutional amendment.